Welcome back, this is Not Lammers, I'm Invoke Pro 1, and today I am doing a uh, new update to the ABC deck profile I did, the Scramble ABCs. This actually won uh, my locals last week. Now, uh, we do, uh, down here we actually do have two different locals. We have a super competitive meta locals, and then we have a more casual locals where people are more experimental with the deck, so you have stuff like uh, Layer of Darkness, you have stuff like uh, the 50 card uh, Noble Knight that was winning, you have Metaphys, you have all sorts of different things, uh, more rogue strategies, uh, dinosaurs, Cosmo, more rogue stuff, and that's what this one, that's what this de uh, deck was able to uh, compete up against and uh, I'm calling like I said this is like scramble ABC or extra link ABC that is because this deck actually can perform an extra link it just requires a lot of luck and a lot of uh, chance draws so but anyways I'm going to talk about all that kind of stuff when we get into it and uh, I'm going to talk about why this I feel is the the definitive version of ABC's outside of a couple cards that you could change out yourself uh, let's talk about the monster lineup. As far as monster lineup goes, I feel that this monster lineup cannot get any better. So we're playing our 1A, which unless they bring this back to 3, uh, then this monster lineup can't get better. But A, of course, recycles your unions. Uh, we'll zoom in just a touch uh, so that way you guys can like fully see. But yeah, I'm playing the 1A and I'm playing 2, uh, what I have nicknamed tech support. So what he does is, sadly, he's not a level 4. If he was a level 4, he'd be perfect for this deck. But what he does is, when he's normal summoned, you get to grab a union from the graveyard and special summon it uh, to the field. And then he also does something else. I think he makes stuff unaffected by things, if I'm correct, right? Our opponent can't target a monster equipped with it, but that doesn't matter. What matters is his normal summon effect. So you can use Brilliant Fusion to send this, activate this, normal summon this to get this back, and then uh, continue to pop off. And then if you end up linking these away, you can put this back in your hand and use your Gem Knight normal summon again to put this back and get the A back and redo your plays, essentially for free, and also that will trigger Union Hanger to put C and all this other crazy plays. He is a really good combo extender, and honestly, if A comes back to three, uh, I'm probably still gonna play one or two of these um, just because I think he's pretty dope. So there's our first lineup of Unions. But yeah, so uh, we just like replaced the two A's with that. Um, Really good extender, really good extender. And I, I was playing three, but I feel two is just a lot better. Uh, then I'm playing three Buster Drake. Of course, he is our searcher that isn't hanger. So uh, we got to we gotta play three of him because we still have him. And then lastly, our one of our big combo playmakers now is C because C can special summon a union from the hand. So we are playing some more union targets such as... Uh, so right now we're still playing the same amount of unions and I still play the same amount that I did prior which is uh, also I play Tortune Gear, which if you remember, um, I played this guy because I thought he was really good during Destrudo form, uh, when ABC Destrudo was good, and also he was another extender for one for one, and he actually ends up being pretty dope later on. If we ever get Chris Strong Needle Fiber, this guy is busted. Um, this guy is insane. But for right now, he is our Link Karibo target to finish out our extra Link. So uh, yes, he helps us. Uh, provide the extra link and he is a level one union machine light tuner which is just insane he has all these different subtypings and all these things that make him perfect for doing extra link plays the only sad part is he doesn't do anything when he goes to grave uh, but that's it for the union monsters uh, I'm playing uh, 10 unions in total um, so let's talk about auxiliary monsters so of course uh, I'm playing the Four gadgets, so I've seen people cut each of these down to one, just one gold and one silver. I prefer playing the four gadgets over the two because you do want to see the gadgets. You want to see them in your opening hand because they do help you extend. And honestly, opening gold and silver like together isn't awful because um, you can still make a rank four off of it. You can still do all sorts of different stuff with it. So. Um, I think that these guys are still pretty good, and you definitely still want to play uh, four of them. But uh, unlike what we were doing before, you don't want to play three because it, it will clog up your hand and just give, just make you have a bad time. We've gone back to the days of when ABC was born, and we are playing Photon Thrasher once again. Uh, not at three this time. I prefer playing two. Um, I think playing three is a bit much, but I might bump him up to three just because I do want to see him. 
Uh, I think he's one of the best uh, first turn plays because you can just summon him and he also helps you make Destrudo. So you'll summon this guy, activate Brilliant Fusion, you'll have instantly two monsters, no, nor no normal summon, and then uh, you can continue your plays from there because you'll have A Engrave along with an along with two normal summons on board and two monsters so you can instantly turn these guys into uh the uh photon thrasher and the gem knight into something else so there's that uh and then i'm playing one jizakiru uh because he's a kaiju on if you want to this can be a third photon thrasher uh i'm, I'm just playing this to out stuff and then also banish it with abc buster so that's realistically what it's in here for i think this is one of the cards that is up for debate on whether or not you play it or not or, you know, like, up for swip switching. I'm playing one Gem Knight Garnet because, like I said, we are playing Brilliant Fusion, and uh, Garnet is the strongest Gem Knight, so I, I have that one, so I play him. And then, uh, lastly, for the Hand Traps, I'm playing uh, just two Ghost Ogre. Uh, these could be Ashes, they could be Drolls, they can be realistically whatever you want them to. I have Ogres on standby for a lot of my decks, so th that's the one I went with. All right, so that's it for the monster lineup. I feel that that monster lineup is like as strong as it can get. So let's talk about the spells. Uh, so of course, three Union Hanger, it's your search card, it's your field spell, it's amazing. It can't be, at, it's equipping effect can't be ashed. It's a fantastic field spell. And of course to search it to terraforming. I still think terraforming is better in this deck. I do really think that uh, metaverse doesn't help this deck too much, but uh, yeah. Uh, Hanger is amazing, and you want to see Hanger as often as possible, so maybe a Metaverse or two wouldn't hurt, but currently as I'm playing this deck, uh, I like this. I like this lineup. Uh, so, oh wait, I'll just leave them there because it doesn't really matter. And then, of course, for our next three of is three Brilliant Fusion because we want to see it. We gotta see Brilliant Fusion to do our mad combos. We can do combos without Brilliant Fusion, I'm picking up a lot of cards that I don't want to pick up because they're sliding between each other. Um, but Brilliant Fusion is just one of the best cards in the deck. I'm going to adjust this. Just because it's one of the biggest combo extenders you can open up with, Brilliant Fusion is insane. And it's a must play now in ABCs. When we lost to Strudo, this was the way that we fixed it. Um, two Call by the Grave. This is obvious, you know, it just hit uh, hand traps. This uh, can hit DD Crow, which uh, people are playing now. Some people are playing DD Crow, so this can hit that if they want to banish your pieces. But realistically, if they want to banish your pieces, they'll hit it with Call by the Grave. So, uh, uh, yeah. Unfortunate, but true. But uh, I just, good card. And then for our one ofs, I'm playing one Magnet Reverse because originally I was playing Call by the Haunted because I'd taken a card out. Magnet Reverse is just better than Call by the Haunted. It's a quick play spell. It can summon ABC. It can also summon Cleefort Genius along with a few other things. Uh, so pretty decent card. Iron Draw. This is one of the cards I feel that could be taken out. I I This should be Soul Charge, I, like realistically. I never open this, but I feel that playing Soul Charge over this would be a lot better. Uh, Regeki and Monster Reborn. These are obvious on why I'm playing them. There's just no reason that you shouldn't play them. So there you go. Uh, that is it for the spell cards. But yeah, like I said, I realistically think that the, these spells are just about what is optimal. I do think that Soul Charge over Iron Draw is a little bit better. So I may end up putting that in. And lastly is the traps. So I only run six traps. Uh, I run three. Uh, Union Scramble, and this is the whole thing where Scramble ABC comes in. Some people have said, hey, you should play uh, Barrel from a different dimension because it's better. I prefer putting them on the board than putting them in the graveyard where they can just be called by the grave again. You can't call by the grave something on the field. This puts them on the field, or if it's already in your graveyard, you can just banish it and put it back into your hand. So I just feel that this card is a lot better than Barrel from a different dimension in this deck. I'm not saying that you can't play Burial from a different dimension. I think that it's okay, but I think that if you're gonna play anything like Burial from a different dimension or Union Scramble, then you should also play like over Burial from a different dimension. I think you should play Pot of Acquisitiveness because it recycles your pieces into the deck and lets you draw a card. So I think that might be a little bit better. And it's also a quick play just like Pot. It's a whole debate between whether you play Union Scramble, Pot of Acquisitiveness, or Burial from a different dimension. 
I went with Union Scramble because I think it's the best one because it also has a graveyard effect. But you know, it's really up to you. I just feel that this one is the best one out of the out of the batch for this deck. And lastly, I'm playing three uh, Torrential Tribute. This does not hurt your deck at all. This gets you all your effects off your unions and also just board wipes the opponent. Nuts card. It's It's been a staple in ABCs for some time, so no reason to stop playing it. That is it for the main deck. Um, I believe it's 40 cards, it might be 41. So my extra deck is actually a little bit short because uh, someone took one of my cards uh, from my extra deck. So yeah, uh, some of my, so it's a little bit short. There should be a couple different cards in here, but I'll talk about those when I get there. So uh, for our first card, uh, of course, three ABC Buster Dragon. This is your boss monster, still busted in 2018. Um, and probably will continue to be one of the most broken boss monsters for a long time. ABC Buster Dra Dragon Buster is crazy powerful. Being able to banish a card on either player's turn and also tag itself out to summon back its fusion materials. The only sad part is that it doesn't shove itself back in the extra deck, so it's instantly on a timer each time you summon one. Uh, which is unfortunate, but if you use stuff like Magnet Reverse, then you can just bring this thing back for free, so it doesn't even matter. And for the last fusion, uh, the Brilliant Fusion target, which is Seraph Knight for the extra normal. So there we go. That's that for the fusions. I run two Xyz monsters, Tornado Dragon and Baguska. I was running a Skill Drain. If you run Skill Drain in your main, you don't need to play Baguska because uh, it's like whatever. Tornado Dragon is Tornado Dragon. He's just good, so I play him. And this is the deck that can make him the best, so that's why he's in here. And then for our links, Hit Potion again, because this deck is like all light monsters. I'm pretty sure there's not a dark monster in here at all. So you can always make this except for when you do the uh, Gem Knight play. And then uh, Cleefort Genius for the same reason. Honestly, one of these could be Land Falinkas. I realistically think that you should, if you should play Land Falinkas over one of these. So that way you can use Photon Thrasher and um, the uh, Photon Thrasher and the uh, Seraphonite to go into uh, Land Flinkus and then just start popping off. Even though Land Flinkus doesn't do anything, he, I think he, no, he's not a light monster, he's a dark, so, which is unfortunate, because if he was light, then you could just turn him into uh, Hit Potion again afterwards, but that's okay. And then for stuff for like extra link plays and whatnot, we have uh, Nightmare Cerberus and Nightmare Phoenix. These just help facilitate the extra link that this deck can do. Uh, Underclock Taker, which there should be a second one, but there's not. Uh, Proxy Dragon uh, also helps facilitate the extra link. There should be a Link Kribo, but like I, I think I mentioned this in another video, it was stolen, so I don't have it anymore. I'm getting another one soon, so uh, yeah, but there should be a Link Kribo in here because it also helps facilitate the extra link. Firewall Dragon because it helps facilitate the extra link. And the most important extra deck monster to ABCs, and I cannot stress this enough because this card is one of the best cards for ABCs, Saryuja Skull Dread. This card is nuts. He's been a staple in ABCs since he came out, since uh, Ancient Fairy, since Destrudo. This card is insane. If you play ABCs, you need to play Saryuja. He is nuts. He lets you draw cards, lets you recycle stuff, lets you extend. He is like a second copy. He, wa he was like a second copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon, so you could special summon twice, but now he's more like a second copy of uh, this. It is nuts. He is great. Play Saryuja. Uh, but that is it for the extra deck, which means that's it for the deck, and it's time for final thoughts. I think ABCs aren't the best contender for the meta right now. I don't think anyone thinks that. I think that a lot of people think ABCs are dead. I don't think ABCs are super dead yet. They are still a pretty fun casual deck and a really powerful strategy overall. They still have ABC Buster Dragon and they still have a lot of tools at their command. It's just unfortunate that Konami can't recognize the real problem where it lies and has to resort to hitting a deck that is a fun rogue strategy for a lot of players and honestly wasn't doing a whole lot for the meta circuit in, other than stealing games from a few people or in the early rounds. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.